And I'm actually today, I've got some new thoughts on this four day work week. And I'm going to give you the reasons why I think it may not stick. I've been telling you it's coming and it is, but will it stick and be widely adopted? Uh, I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to unpack that today. So here's where we stand. It is gaining popularity. More than 60 companies tried a four-day work week in Britain. And the results at the top, if you just look at a big bumper sticker result, 92% said, we're going to keep doing it. Uh, Now, that was in Britain, and I reported on that. A total of 61 British companies with around 2,900 workers were enrolled in the trial, six-month trial. And the employees worked an average of 34 hours across a four-day week between June and December of 2022. They kept their existing salary. At the conclusion of the six-month trial, 56 or 92% of the companies decided to stick with a four-day work week and 18 have done so permanently. Okay? But there's nothing that's permanent. Now, research from Robert Half, an employment agency, shows that a large majority of U.S. managers, 93% support a four-day work week for their team. Okay, I need to pause here for a second. 93% of managers support it because they want it. But those 93% of managers aren't going to be able to make that decision. So don't get too hot and bothered, okay? As you hear a piece of data like that and you go, Honey, you can believe what that Ken Coleman guy said today. He said 93% of leaders in America want a four-day work week. Woo! I'm going to get to go hunting a lot this year. Well, I wouldn't jump to that conclusion. By the way, I don't know why that voice I always go to has got to be the redneck guy. But it's kind of, it's easy for me. So I guess I grew up in the South. So if you're a redneck guy and you got offended, I'm not sorry. Uh, Sixty-four percent of managers expect their company to transition to to a four-day work week within the next five years. That is intriguing to me. The number is a lot lower than the 93% who want it. 64% said they expect it. I wonder if that's just they're like me and they're going, eh, I feel like it's coming, or if they know something. That's interesting. Some employees enjoyed the change so much They said keeping the extra day off each week would be more important than a raise. 15% of employees, this is from the British uh, test, 15% of employees said that no amount of money would induce them to return to a five-day schedule. (laughs) Okay. So those two statements really made me start to go, hmm. I don't know if this is going to stick in Britain or in the U.S. I don't know, and I'm going to tell you why. Here's the question I have. You can weigh in in the comments. The question I have, which I don't have an answer for, is, is it emotional? Is the positive response from from a, a huge majority of people, employees and leaders, is it emotional? And what I mean by that is, A six-month trial of a four-day work week, in my mind, is absolutely the definition of a honeymoon. I mean, come on. I want to see where it ends up in two years. Like a marriage, can it make it past the seven-year itch? See, these are things we don't know. And I think if we're not careful, we see studies like this and we see these overwhelming numbers come back that it's positive, that productivity was up, burnout was down, retention was up, profitability was up slightly, not a huge number, as I reported on this earlier this week. And I think you see that, and I'm a guy who cares about data. But I'm also a guy who understands the human condition and humans adapt pretty fast it's new right now for six months people got paid the same salary and only had to work 34 hours a week that's a freaking honeymoon 
I love you so much, baby. You know, that's how these, these kids of puppy love, you know, first three, four, five, six months of the relationship, you can't let go of each other. <laughs> Two years later, they don't even want to be around each other. Come on. I'm just laying it out there. So is it sustainable? I Look, I, 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 I'm almost married 25 years. I can tell you with absolute certainty that I love Stacy more today than I did when we first got married. But I can also tell you with equal certainty that we don't act like we did the first six months of our marriage or the first six months of our relationship. We just don't. Love is deeper, but it's not all the sappy, you know, oh, I can't leave you. I just love the sound of your voice. Now, I tell you something. I love Stacey more than I've ever loved her, but I promise you there are days where she don't like the sound of my voice, Alex. Guys, notice what I did there? I didn't say that I don't like the sound of her voice. Got to be careful. This is dangerous territory. But I think it's legitimate to say that this is a honeymoon phase and it's a test, and now the numbers will bear out, and it will be very interesting to see if – a four-day work week is a sustainable long-term option for work. I will also tell you, as in any strategy, there will be people who can do it successfully. The question will be, how many? Is it a small percentage or will it be a large percentage of companies that can figure out how to do this? It remains to be seen. But now here's where my... Here's my hunch, not a prediction. My hunch is, is the four-day work week is adopted sporadically and that it is kept on a very minimal basis. I think a lot of companies will try it and not do it well. A small percentage of companies will do it well. I don't think it's going to be widely adopted. I just don't. I don't think it can sustain. And I think the data we're getting right now shows us we're in a honeymoon. Uh, but I will say for the percentage of companies, I think it'll be a small percentage that will do it well. And I think it'll be because there is high trust and healthy communication. Because here's what I believe, and this has nothing to do with the four-day work week. You show me a company with leaders that have created a high trust healthy communicative culture they can do anything so it's about high trust healthy communication sadly enough what we see most of the time is low trust and unhealthy communication and that'll crumble